Hey, VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. Uh, VC cheered everyone out there. Uh, whew. Coming back to do a quick video here. A little bit of a makeup video, actually. Um, I didn't get to my album of the week thread last week. I guess I'm like a couple days late or whatever. So I'm going to do one to make up for last week, and I'm going to do another album of the week thread probably tomorrow for this week. And um, also, I went out and got post-its today, finally. So I'm going to do a, a video response, uh, again, probably tomorrow to, uh, I was going to say NB Drummer, that's not right, uh, Dixieland. Uh, I'm going to do a response to your video tomorrow because I finally have post-its. So uh, anyway... So, album of the week is what we're going to do this time, and it's the one you hear playing in the background, which uh, I'm sure a lot of you probably recognize, a lot of you probably hate, whatever the case may be, but the album of the week is going to be Metallica's Saint Anger. And obviously there's some clear reasons why I picked this album. Um, first, I'll kind of show you what I have here. I mean, I have... The Warner Brothers copy here, which is kind of my listening copy, 2LP set, um, you know, so, kind of give you an idea there. So that's the Warner Brothers release, and then I do also have a sealed copy of the Elektra release, and uh, we have the CD here, which is kind of like a digipack type thing, you know, it's a little, uh, oh, I got it upside down, a little trifold, kind of cool, because it came with a, um, like a DVD, you know, which just has them kind of playing some of the songs live at HQ, which is kind of like their little spot, uh, so you get the CD, the DVD, and then there's also, like, you know, a little book or whatever over here, so that's kind of the CD, and then I did also have the cassette just steel sealed so I haven't haven't opened that one and probably won't but gives you an idea what that's like and then also of course you have the the DVD the making of the documentary which is really really cool I, I, I love this um, so I don't know anyway it's, it's a two disc set too which is the the film so to speak and then some bonus features on a second disc but anyway like I said this is album of the week um, any of you who are Metallica fans, I mean, I'm sure you're more than well aware of, if not also part of, the uproar that came with this album. Um, I think a lot of people hated it. <laughs> Let's just put it that way, kind of plain and simple. Um, you know, Metallica obviously is very well known for kind of doing what they want to do, when they want to do it, and how they want to do it. And they definitely did it on this one here. I know they described it in the video as they were trying to mimic um, just like uh, a garage band just kind of like getting together and just jamming almost like for the first time you know no frills or whatever else except the band is Metallica uh, that was kind of like the way they described it in the film so you know it was, it was pretty raw and um, you know they did kind of some uh, heavy recording I don't know if heavy is the right word it's just what I th think about when I think think about the feel and the sound of the album um, I mean like Lars' snare drum was just so freaking like overpowering throughout the entire album which to me gave it kind of just a different feel you know um, and I don't know I, I think this was an album to me that kind of uh, let Lars come to the forefront a little more so than uh, maybe some of the other band members typically not saying that Lars was doing all these fantastic drum solos or whatever else but when you listen to the mixes, you would swear that Lars was behind the switches because the drums were just so overpowering in this album. But, uh, you know, th there, there really wasn't much of Kurt soloing in the album, which is, you know, kind of somewhat different for Metallica. Um, but, it, I mean, it was just different. But, but the thing is, you know, people always complain. I mean, there was a lot of complaints about it. I saw Metallica in concert a couple times, and even most of the stuff that you see on... Uh, on a you know YouTube and everything, they almost never put anything from this album in their set list. I mean, 
you might get some kind of monster, and even then, that was typically when they were actually promoting, I think, when they were touring on this album. Um, but yeah, they almost avoid this album to this point in time. But I guess really the way that I, I think is, or the way I feel about the album, the biggest downfall of the album is that Metallica made it. Because I will bet you anything, as much grief as they caught over this album, if any other band had put this album out, especially like a band that had never been heard of before, just like, you know, their, their debut album or whatever else, it would have been all the freaking rave if it wasn't Metallica. You know, if it was any band with a new debut album, people would have been talking about, oh gosh, this new sound, and it's so heavy, and it's so raw, and it's, you know, back to these roots, and blah, blah, blah. They would have been saying all of that crap. But as soon as they, you know, put, oh, that's Metallica doing it. Oh, it sucks. Oh, it's blah, blah, blah. You know, just kind of going on and on. And, uh... Obviously, there's no way for me to prove that, but I would almost bet anything that uh, if a no-name band had put this album out, it would have been the absolute rage. I mean, it, I honestly believe that. Personally, I think it's an awesome album. It's, you know, it's, it's some very just kind of you know thick, gritty type stuff on here. Not to mention one of my favorite uh, lyrics of all time. One I'm actually getting. Uh, tattooed across my back and shoulder up there, which is in a in a frantic where he, he, uh, James says, "My lifestyle determines my death style." I, mean, I love that. I love that lyric, and I won't get into why and all that good stuff. So there you go, VC album of the week, Metallica Saint Anger. Play it, enjoy it, rock it. Love it. All right. All right, BC. We'll talk to you guys later.